Happy New Year, everyone. Greetings from the Mohican Nation. Uh, my name is Shannon Holsey. I'm the president of the Mohican Nation, and I just wanted to take a few minutes today to update you on a few recent events and what a year this past few weeks have been. From witnessing of the insurrection and violence that took place at the U.S. Capitol and the assault on democracy to the continued surge of COVID-19 and associated sig significant losses, uh, to the delayed access of vaccinations. And of course, we are upon a transition of a new administration and our most recent precautionary closure of our operations. Uh, the Stockbridge Muncie community, I assure you, has a robust safety plan. And one cornerstone of that safety plan is our required employee testing. It is intended so we are able to better manage safety and assess risk. Uh, the latest testing took place on January 12th and 13th of this year. And on January 14th, uh, preliminary test results from that testing event resulted in 20 asymptomatic uh, positive cases being identified. Uh, to ensure the safety of the employees and the customers, while more testing and contact tracing data was accumulated, the Tribal Council decided to implement a precautionary pause on our operations, which began at noon on Thursday the 14th, and um, it has continued until more data could be reviewed and analyzed, so we continue to receive the final results daily. The total number of positive cases within the casino employee base was 24 positives out of the 335 employees tested, which created a positive rate of about 7.16%. Uh, the total number of positive cases on the tribal government side employee base was one positive out of the 247 employees for a positive uh, rate of 0.4%. Both numbers, I assure you, are far below the numbers in our surrounding communities, but still were of concern because of the casino positive rates, which were noticeably higher during the past employee testing events. But the data does do continue to prove that the Stockbridge Muncie community workplace continues to be safe, both, both for our employees and our customers. This is no indication of COVID-19 infections taking place within the workplace due to the robust safety program already in place. Unfortunately, the number of employees impacted by known, not only the asymptomatic positive cases, but also the contract tracing efforts means that staffing levels for operation efficiencies required further analysis. Given the very low numbers of employees affected by COVID on the tribal side of, of operations means that our government can reopen on Tuesday, January 19th with no additional restrictions of operations. The casino also will reopen Tuesday, January 19th at 7 a.m. However, the impact on staffing at the casino requires further reduction in services until employees are cleared by appropriate medical staff to safely return to work. I also wanna take a moment to just quickly thank our dedicated and hardworking heroes, our essential um, workers and our executive team, and of course our employees whose dedication and hard work continue to keep us safe and also continue to provide necessary and critical services to our community in order for us to operate during a, pan a pandemic and beyond. All of those protocols balance the need for operations to continue while still protecting the health and safety of our employees, customers, and community. Please know that your safety is at the forefront of every decision we make. We are continually looking for ways to improve and to get those important vaccinations to you as quickly as possible by continuing to work with our federal, regional, and state partners. We also need to remind you of the importance of to continue to do your part in wearing your masks, washing your hands, socially distancing, avoiding large gatherings, even if you have received the vaccination. Just wanna take a moment too to continue to um, send you well wishes and blessings in all our respects to the relatives who have passed or are fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. 
We are sending you an abundance of good medicine and prayers for your emotional continued balance. And we're holding dear to those memories of those that have passed. I just want to say Happy New Year. We will continue to keep you informed. We will continue to keep you in our prayers. And we ask you to keep us in your prayers and ask for your continued patience as we navigate this most uncertain and challenging time. Be well, Mohican Nation and our community, and blessings to you all. Thank you, and God bless.